So I try to talk about topical things on here. Uh, that Actually, that intro video that you just saw is uh, harkens back to a time when I was doing slightly different things with my channel. So I really should probably change that. Somebody notified me of that yesterday, and I don't actually disagree. So for that person, thank you very much for your feedback. It, uh, it is something I will be working on very shortly. However, yesterday, I posted a video. I'll link to it right here. I posted a video about America's frontline doctors that came out um, and Breitbart made a video about it. And holy shit, did I tap into a deep-rooted, seething problem that a lot of you people have. Uh, all right, so let's talk about a couple of things. First of all, I want to talk about what my channel is and what my channel is not. My channel is me spouting off my opinion. I am not trying to uh, debunk things. I am not trying to establish facts. I am not a news organization. I am not uh, a political pundit who's paid uh, to spin stories. Uh, I am giving my opinion on what I see going on in the internet, on television, in movies, uh, in day-to-day -day life. It just happens to be that right now we're in the middle of a global pandemic and there are a whole lot of freaking idiots out there right now. They're denying that this shit is real. Now, I'm not going to go into this whole video again and, and what it was and what it wasn't because I already did that yesterday. I had, I have had, how many comments? 230, I think, something like that. Let me see what I got here. 200 and some odd comments on this video. And um, anyway, I'll find it later. I'm still getting used to some of this stuff. But I've had 5.2 thousand views, over 5,000 views on this video yesterday all coming organically from YouTube searches, looking for this video because the video has been taken down everywhere. Now, I don't need to contradict individually who these people are, but there's stories out about this one specifically, the Stella Emanuel and what her beliefs are. Now, she's the one out there pushing hydroxychloroquine saying that she's treated 230 patients and every or whatever it was. I'm not, I'm not sure that number, uh, but it was a large number of patients and that they've all been cured miraculously by hydroxychloroquine. This is the same woman who believes that ovarian cysts are caused by having dream sex with demons. I'm not kidding. There's videos on YouTube proving that. That's what she says. She's a minister. She preaches this kind of stuff. Okay. This is the problem that's going on right now. That is one example. There, I guess there was 12 doctors that came out. They all came out. Actually, go back to this. This is the coat. This right here. You see that? America's frontline doctors. This is all a plant. These are brand new, creased, barely worn uh, doctors' frocks that they came out, lab coats. It's all, it's all publicity. It's all propaganda. And you fucking people... Uh, they're out there believing this shit. The 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 you know right now you've got Sinclair Media right, which is a large conglomerate media group across the country. They own television stations all across the country. You talk about the left wing media. Sinclair is a right wing media group. They give they give and support conservative politicians, and they are out there showing this debunked, fully debunked conspiracy theory video called Plandemic. They're going to show it on their television stations. Breitbart was the only media source that was there for this video where you had these doctors all lined up to talk to a podium and nobody was there to listen. It's all staged. And all of you people that are denying the need for masks and denying the numbers and, and saying that, oh, they're all, you guys are inflating the numbers and the whole world is lying and it's all a control thing and they're going to microchip me and Bill Gates is behind the whole thing. I, you know, I don't particularly understand how this stuff seeps so deeply into your brains. I don't know if it's lead paint. I don't know if it's asbestos. I don't know if it's shitty food. I don't know if it's backwoods, uh, you know, low education upbringing. I honestly don't know. It's probably multifactorial what's causing so much of this mass delusion about what's going on. I spoke in yesterday's video about the idea that, that we have basically defamed the media so much with this Cheeto in charge that nobody believes the internet or nobody believes the news anymore. And you can, you can sit there and think all you want that the mainstream media is controlled by leftist, Marxist, socialist, blah, blah, blah. And I don't care. I don't need to prove my opinion to you. I don't need to, to make it a point for you to understand my point of view. I don't give a shit. 
if you understand my point of view. And I don't care how many of you people went in here and put these comments on here. Go to yesterday's video. Look at the comments. Look what people wrote to me. The, the, the people that are on the right, the people that buy into this Trump-led delusion, this Trump-led idea that this is all false and that, that, that the media lies to you and he's the only person telling the truth. You people are dysfunctional at best. You're dangerous at worst. And your bullying and name calling, I'm going to tell you right now, has almost zero effect on me. If nothing else, it charges me up. I hope, I hope all of you subscribe to my channel. You know, I get a lot of people bashing my channel. Well, guess what? I just started building this. Yeah, I'm going to have very few subscribers, okay? But I'm not a news organization, and I am not a uh, out there to debunk things, right? I am just here to give my shitty opinion. And if you don't like it, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I really don't care. I swear a little. I curse a little. I, I talk shit about Republicans and conservatives uh, because at the end of the day, I'm a good person. And I believe that the, the benefit of all is a more progressive, more liberal agenda. And actually, I'm pretty much a socialist. Oh, and by the way, for all of you out there that love to just drive this whole patriotic train home, I'm also a former United States Marine, served active duty for this country for four years. I'm a father of two boys. I'm a small business owner who employs 10 people. I'm involved in politics. I give to charities. I'm on the board of a charity. So this narrative that I'm some kind of like seething underbelly of society, socialist Marxist that's out there and burning buildings down. I mean, plenty of people on there accusing me of that kind of nonsense. Fuck you. Your opinion is shit and I don't care. And every one of you people that are like, open your eyes or you're a sheep, you know, or, or I'm woke. You know, all you claiming to be woke, you look stupid. And I really don't care your opinion of me. It has no effect. I can just ignore the comments. You can spout off all day long. What I appreciate are the views. And I've got plenty of thumbs up, even though I've got a shit ton of thumbs down. The activity drives my channel. So thank you very much for that. I don't care what you think about me, but your leader does. This is the president of the United States of America. How come people like Fauci, but nobody likes me? It's because you're a lying piece of shit. It's because you have created a cult of personality in this country. And morons believe that you're doing good work. It's gross. What we have become is gross. And I cannot wait until November. Whew. I had to get that off my chest. There's plenty of other things going on in the world right now. But I wanted to address the, the elephant in the room yesterday's video. If you don't like my channel, man, go away. I could give a shit. I'm trying to build an audience of people that are like-minded or people that have an open mind at very least. But unfortunately, cognitive dissonance means that you people that commented yesterday with your spiteful hate, you people are not open to seeing the truth. You're not open to any idea other than what you have implanted in your brain. Donald Trump has done almost no good for this country. The few things that he has, I have pointed out and I actually applaud him for. Unfortunately, there are like three of them in a sea of lies and divided um, uh, politics in this country. He has alienated our allies around the world, and he has made the United States of America the laughing stock of the entire planet. If you like today's video, if you agree with what I had to say, give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't, thumbs down me, man. A whole bunch of you idiots did yesterday. Uh, either way, thank you for watching today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share it with your friends. Uh, I'm trying to build a... Uh, a movement here. I'm sick and tired of democratic politics always having to be nice. Fuck the other side. Unfortunately, they've created the war. They've been doing it for years. And I think some of us on the left need to do the same. Thank you for watching today's episode of the Daily Octane. I'll see you tomorrow when hopefully I have something different to talk about. But man, this is getting to be a lot of fun. Have a great day.